Let us turn to God in prayer. God of light and God of glory, may the same spirit that was with the writers of your word be with us now, the hearers of your word. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is Psalm 103. If you would like to follow along with me, please turn to page 542 in your pew Bible. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity? Who, deal, who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you with the steadfast love and mercy? Who satisfies you with good as long as you live? so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, their days are like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field for the wind passes over it and it is gone and its place knows it no more but the steadfast love of the lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to the children's children to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments the lord has established his throne in the heavens and the kingdom rules over all bless the lord o you his angels you mighty ones who do his bidding, obedient to his spoken word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. God always blesses the reading and hearing of Holy Scripture. 